So you're trying to up your social media game, get on the Instagram reels and the Tic Tacs and all that stuff that the people are telling us we need to do for our churches. And you don't have time to create content, so you, you want to reuse, repurpose your Sunday morning stuff. Well, let me show you the easiest way that you can take your Sunday morning sermon and automatically reframe it for vertical video stuff for all of these social media sites. So we're going to jump into Premiere Pro right now. But if you don't have a professional video editor, uh, I'm going to show you how to do this right on your phone as well at the end of the video. All right, so in Premiere Pro, we're just going to drag in our video file of the Sunday morning service. And then I like to just go through here and find the spot that you want. So let me do that. Okay, I've got my little selection picked out. Less than 60 seconds, really less than 30 is even better. Now let's take this and drag it to a new sequence. It's gonna match the settings of what that clip is. Looks like ours is 22 seconds. And now here's the little magic in Premiere. If you go over here to your sequence and right click and go down to auto reframe sequence, we're gonna choose vertical nine by 16. And you could choose slower default or faster motion, depending on how fast your pastor is moving back and forth. But let's just leave it on default for now. And this nesting, you know, don't need to worry about unless you have different effects applied. So we let it do its thing and reframe and let's check and see how the auto tracking does. All right, so if we scroll through our clip here, we can see that it keeps our pastor in the center there. And then if we look over here, the neat thing is because our cameraman had him on the left side of the frame and is kind of following back. But so using that auto reframe tool, it automatically puts him back in the center. All right, so let's export this video and then we'll airdrop it over to our phone and I'll kind of show you what I like to do, adding captions and all that stuff to your Instagram stories and reels. And then you can save that and put it on TikTok and Facebook as well. All right, so once you've got the file airdropped over to your phone, you just open up the Instagram app and we're gonna do a little plus icon, add a reel, and then click on your little icon for your videos. You can see I've already been messing with this. Let's choose the correct video. We click add. Then you're going to click preview and then you're going to click the sticker icon and do captions. It's going to transcribe the audio for you and you can adjust this once it's done doing that and choose these different styles. However you want it to look, you can change the colors of it, um, whatever you would like to do. And then you can also even click on here and adjust the transcription if it wasn't quite correct or maybe there's some repeat words that you don't want in there. Uh, so after you do that, you can just place it where you want it and go ahead and post. Now you can't in the reels that I know of do a sticker tag of like tagging your pastor that's talking or whatever's happening, but I would just post that in the, the caption area of the reel and then go ahead and just download that from your Instagram reel and you can repost it on Facebook or TikTok or whatever you would like to do. But well, let's say you don't have a professional video editing app like Premiere or DaVinci Resolve even. I think the pro version can do reframe. What I would say is just go into YouTube and find that video of your sermon series and just screen record your pastor doing that section and give yourself a little space on each side. Make sure captions are turned off. Make sure your quality is set to the highest uh, resolution. A lot of times people don't realize it's defaulted to like 360p. You definitely don't want that. And so let it play your video, screen record that, and then once you're done, bring that screen recording into an app or into Instagram and you can make it pretty however you want to or use an app like Canva or uh, I like to use this app called Unfold that has different, you know, uh, templates that you can use to make it a little bit prettier and give space for the captions on there. For example, since it's a horizontal video, let's choose this template and we can go ahead and add in that, that video of our YouTube clip. And we could leave space here for uh, the captions to go there and we could change this title out to truth and grace grace and truth. I don't remember which way he had said it and adjust that. And then you could go in and bring this video now into Instagram and post it on your stories or Facebook or TikTok or whatever you want to do. And so that's usually how I would do it. If you can't reframe the video, choose one of the options to kind of make it look like it was on purpose 
for the landscape. But guys, I hope hope this helps you. We're all just trying to figure out the social media stuff and, and how to most effectively communicate the message of the gospel. And so uh, remember, we can do a lot of great things. Let's do it all for God's glory. Now, if you like this video, do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're finding value in content like this. So we will see you in the next one.